All right, see that turn sign? I'm right on a turn and you see, turn on a highway, going out of a town on bad land. That's like no houses on, not farmable. And you see, modern trash. Everybody that comes on this turn throws like a bottle out or a can and back, you know, in the day above an old town, there was people throwing bottles, but there's usually dumps on places like this. And look here, I pulled the lease back and right there's an older, see there's been bottles being thrown here. There's a like 1960s Pepsi with the cap on it. That's kind of a cool bottle. But this is how I find dumps. You just gotta walk around. Now we'll look here. I'd say there's some stuff deep here. You wanna look all in this stuff where the trees have pulled up the ground. Let's see if we see any evidence here of anything. A dump, there has to be some bottles here someplace. I don't see any glass. I need to rake some of these leaves off here and we'll get an idea, I think. Oh, I see glass here. Yeah, here we go. Look here. There's glass and that's older. I see a bunch down here. Dig a hole. Well, look here. There's a ketchup. So that means families dumped here. This no one would throw a ketchup bottle out the. See, here's window glass. Here's a piece of some kind of ceramic. See, there's more window glass. There's a dump here, and I haven't dug it. Right there's a jar, and you know that's like 40s. See down here, there's a good bit of glass, it looks like, up against this tree. I'd like to see, I see some over there too. Let me put my bag down here. I always carry my drinks and stuff with me. Let's see if I get thirsty. Now let's see what this looks like. Well, that's, that's old aqua soda glass air. There's some old stuff here. There's, that's an old beer. Um, it's machine made, but that's a, that's a pre-prohibition. Here's another piece to pre-prohibition beer there. Yeah, see, there's a dump here someplace. I'll just have to find where I can dig into the layer. Might take me two weeks to find it there. Yeah, there's a base of a real old mason. There's a milk well, oh, an embossed milk. That's a wood sealed ice and creamy. That'd have been a $20, $30 milk. But look, see, there's glass com coming out of this hill. All right, fix. We got a new dump to look. There's, you know, that's, yeah, see, that's an 1858 Mason's. There's an old aqua bottle. And this is just on the surface. You know, this stuff might be three, four foot deep. See, there's pieces of metal. I'll get back to see there's more. There's an old mason. All right. There's glass even going down in here, see it? This be a good place to find something nice. I'll have to find a layer, I'll get back later. You know, there's something sticking out here. It says patent 12, something. Yeah, it's one of them Pepsis. But this is uh, Coca-Cola Balling Works. That's an old Sistersville, West Virginia soda. That would have been nice. That's not a common one. It's 30 bucks. Man, just on the surface. But I've been looking for airheads too. I found a handful of stuff the other day before the snow melted. Right where I raked this out. Started raking back the Leafs and there's this is an ACL one. I thought it was a big but There's another coke Just right on the surface see what's down in here. When I'm on the side of a hill like this I try to find the oldest tree and this one surely looks old It'd take two people at least I'd say three to get your right hands all the way around that That's a big one But you can see there's evidence of burning on this rock layer here this hasn't been fired as much, but that has. And then you come over here and look at this. 
there's a big atlas strong shoulder mason there's some glass here and i'll show you there's something else it's an old product jar see there's more glass here there's something with a lid on it there's a lace all cap look how good that is see there's glass sticking out i just gotta find where it's coming out you can usually see it around these old trees see it now look up in here here's there's a prescription there's a, a base of an old beer look how thick that glass is or some kind of wine or something there's been trash dumped here where the main concentration of it is i don't know i'm gonna have to do some digging and probing i'll have to bring a probe up in here i'll get back i'm raking up this hillside to try to see if i can't find any kind of layer in here and right there's something white sticking out and it's a little milk glass container little metal pieces coming out that ain't nothing but i'm seeing some older glass shards this is how i find dumps now i'll look around here and i'll have to probe too i'm sure this stuff could be six foot but you see the glass I just got to get a judge on where it sat on in this hill because there's definitely piles of trash in the side of this bank someplace you can see all the trash thinking it's going up that way i think the road was lower too i think the road was right there at one point so this is right over the lip of the hill it's hard to tell what is on a place like this see there's glass just coming there could be marbles all over this hill. There could be who knows what buttons. See, there's a light bulb piece. Who knows what's here? Bottles. Well, that's old. It's like peach colored. You know, I'll get back. You know, I just see this up here. There's going to be good stuff here. I'm glad I brought my Matic. See? Look at these bottles, aqua bottles, but I just raked out a cork only this deep and look at the layer. See, these are older bottles. That's probably a McCormick bottle. I can't tell, can you? It looks like it. I found these before. Machine made, but you know, 1920 at newest. 100 year old bottle, McCormick and Company, Baltimore. Perfect new dump fix it's hard to tell what's laying right here under me it might be 10 foot deep though i'm right above a real old town that was settled before the civil war and this is the first turn on the first bad piece of ground going out of the town close to a cemetery <laughs> so what you want a lot of this stuff ain't deep i think the stuff's more up this way but look here you're on the side of this hill man that's an old horseshoe a real thin one I'll take that that's an old one look how thin it is very cool and there's another one of them sistersville art decades here's the ketchup I'm starting to get into thicker trash up towards the road man this is steep but look at this give you kind of a show here the progression of the day I might you know that McCormick bottles anywhere two or three bucks but it's still a cool find it shows me that there's stuff here. Now well, see, look. There's just beautiful aqua glass, and that's 1900, circa 1900 on glass like that. See, I'm getting to better layers now. It's uh, I'm right up by the ridge. There's newer stuff too. That looks like a jug. It's hard to tell what's laying right here. See, there's a busted thing. It's another jug. There's a good bit of glass in here. Hopefully I can get into some marbles and you know, there's not a lot of thick layer, but that doesn't mean that there's not a heck of a layer 10 foot deep. I'm going to have to probe this and dig some test pits and we'll see what else I can get here. I'll, well, look at that. Oh man. Yep, right there's a tiny salt glaze crock and that's probably a thousand dollar one with like, that could even be a Bearsville one where I'm at. That's promising. That's salt glaze. I better put that up there in case I find the rest of that. I'll get back. I just hooked the milk and it's probably an old good one. 
I found the dump. I'm hitting the edge of it. It goes up into the hill here. Right there, that's, you know, conservatively, it says Coca-Cola Boiling Works, Sistersville, West Virginia. That's from the 1930s. I, it looks real nice condition. If it wasn't broke, it'd be worth $40. But right here's a milk. And there, you just saw that salt glaze crock. I hooked it with my rake and it come right up and it feels whole. Yep, and it's embossed. And it looks like a Woodsfield, Ohio one and it looks like an early one and it's big. This is a $30 milk. Woodsfield, Ohio, Woodsfield Ice and Creamery. They made ice cream too and milk. Man, that's a nice find on a day like today. And this is a brand new dump I've never dug on. So look at this, folks. Right back on another place to dig. And that's that's perfect. I'll clean it up and show you. Then that's an older top. You know, that's 1940s, late 40s. Later. Now here's this big Woodfield milk. There's still a little bit of a stain right there on the inside, like a water stain. I can get that out easily. I haven't seen where the water, it was laying like that little bit of staining but that's just perfect woodsfield ice and creamery company wic woodsfield ohio big slug plated milk that's nice one quart real nice condition there's not a flea bite or nothing on that that's a good find woodsfield ohio is another real small community in monroe county ohio which borders the ohio river nice later Things. This could just turn into legendary. Look here. There's another milk sticking out. Oh, it's embossed. I think it's a Cleverdale Dairy, Wheeling, West Virginia. Oh, it is. You know, we have a big cleaver on the bottom, too. This is awesome. Look at this. This is a beautiful Wheeling milk. Man, I haven't been on the milk for a while. Look at that, Cleverdale Dairy Milk. Big clover. And then on the back it says, the Cleverdale Dairy Company, Wheeling, West Virginia. 52, 1952. And it's even, it says Cleverdale up here on the neck. See what I mean? First place I stopped on the turn of a road, I'm on two milks within the first hour that McCormick bottle and you know there's there's an old door mechanism out of a real old wood door on the house this I could find 50 milks in here over the next week I'll get back yeah, I'll show you some of these things cleaned up you can see these are beautiful milks Cloverdale dairy big clover on it clover on the bottom the Cloverdale Dairy Company, Wheeling, West Virginia. You know, if I had this for sale in an like that antique mall in Marietta, it'd be like twenty-two fifty. Um, and it'd sell. The clover is what sells it. That's nice. It's a nice find. Hopefully, there's some more of them. You can see it says Cloverdale up there too, from the early nineteen fifties, Wheeling, West Virginia. Nice find. Nice Ohio Valley find. Later. Farther up in here, there's a big half gallon beautiful mason jar that would have been worth 10 bucks this looks awesome there's old glass in here too there's a, that's probably a christmas cake there all right this is i got a new place to dig there's something right there. well there's another there's another milk or no i think this is a it's a fourth, fifth quart wine. It looked like a milk base, but it's not. I'll get back. I just took the bottle, and it's an Art Deco. Oh, figs. The last one of these, if this is whole, the last one of these that sold on eBay sold for $110. It's a Sistersville, West Virginia Coca-Cola bottle from, it could be from like 1929 to like 1934. Let's hope. It looks all there. You know, you, they just haven't, these are scarce. These are scarce bottles, but you've seen me find them. It's because I dig all the time. I'm a digger. I have maybe 40 of these, and this is, wait till you see this cleaned up. It's going to look nice. It says Coca-Cola here, bottling works. Um, Sistersville, West Virginia. 
that's a nice bottle but you know i have so many of them i could run the price down i might get a hundred dollars for this one or close to it then it'll be you know a couple of them will get 75 and then they're 40 dollar bottles i have so many of them that's why i don't but i'm gonna keep that that's a beauty you know coke, look at not any damage beautiful looking bottle town name on it coca-cola they ain't making them no more and it's gonna be a hundred years old that's nice plus two milks right here in this little hole and there's just look at this layer there ain't a lot here but that doesn't mean there's not a six foot layer eight foot deep see there's a real old spark plug ceramic when you can clean them all up but see oh uh, there's another bottle that's just like a vanilla extract bottle it's not about the age of them milks but there's you saw that salt glaze crock it's hard to tell what's laying right here it's just hard to tell there could be 30 crocks here within five foot of me or there might not be nothing else but i'm i think there's more stuff here see look at this and these layer right on the side of the hill it's coming from someplace this is from trash see there's something what the heck's that that's a metal like fitting off something like a base see if that's marked on the bottom it's iron like I can't tell if it says anything or not I'll take it and clean it up I'll get back alright here's the bottle from the previous it's just like new and I don't have one see these numbers right there I've never found one with that see it says Sistersville WVA and now it's WV the abbreviation that's pre abbreviation but this is from like the mid the like 1934 this would be Coca-Cola bottle from Sistersville West Virginia it's an Art Deco bottle look how it catches the light looks like Qbert the video game bottling works and look how nice just Oh man, and I've they're they're all over that hill. This is not a common bottle. Happy to get to, look at that. That's a good find, folks. Wanted to show this up close because a lot of you people that collect Coke bottles probably haven't seen this one. I've got them later. Yeah, there's probably hundreds of dollars of these Sistersville. Here's a, a variant. It's not the same one. This one says Coca-Cola down here and Sistersville on the bottom, and that's 1930s. These are hard to find if you're out of the area. That looks like a bottle right there, maybe. It is, there's something right there. I didn't even see that. It's probably a newer beer or something. It's up towards the top. You see, it ain't very deep. But you never know. Look at all that glass coming out. I'm looking for marbles, mostly. But I'll take some of these bottles, that Coke bottle and them milks. See, there's even sheet metal and yeah, I guess that's some kind of plastic. Man, I'd like to see where, start seeing some little green plastic army men and then see a marble and then see 50 marbles acro agates or something that's some kind of screw top like chemical bottle but look at that layer you know there's an old anchor shoe polish it's embossed that would have been pretty nice if it some older bottles i wish that crock would have been whole i would have fainted i have done it if this ain't cracked this is like a bucket list finding something made out of this material it's uranium glass and it's an ashtray and i've never seen one like it i'd rather there was a juicer made out of this i found them broke and it's a bucket list item but i ain't never even knew this existed it looks good oh it's even got designs on it it looks good it's a uranium glass ashtray man with a cigarette holder on it oh it's got a hole in it right there you know that would have been very awesome that's that will fluoresce but it's busted 
stink. I might take it anyway. It's a shame this is broke. I have a collection of these. I think I have about a dozen of them now. This one's even marked with a part number. It says 54, probably the year. It's a glass like light, like a reflector for a car or something like that. That would have been cool. Could get sick on this hillside here. Here's another one of them Sistersville Coke bottles. And this is the variant that I haven't found yet whole today. You know, if this is real nice, it's 40 bucks. It's real nice. Look at that. This is the one that says Coca-Cola Bottling Works. There's some that say Frank Keeney, Frank Keeney and Sons. The one I got over there. You know, it's got one little chip there, but that detracts from it, but it's still worth, it makes it a $10 bottle now with that. But it still says Sisters though, and it displays nice. It's like if I had that in an antique store, to be eight to $10 just because of that chip, if it was perfect. And when I cleaned it up, it looked like it was new out of, off, out of the case with no case wear or nothing, it'd be $40. That's the difference in just that right there. You can see it, it's a little, but see that it's still, you know, try to find one of these for sale if you live in Sistersville. If you want one, you don't have the money to pay 40, that's the one for you. It's still a nice bottle. Later, I just hooked that, came right out of there. There's a Hubble skirt Coke. It's either gonna be a deep hat or it's gonna be a Christmas. And this is a place where it's gonna be borderline. It's probably gonna be Pat Day because of the 50s milks, but them content scent fluid ounces. D-Pat, but it's Sistersville and it's the big letters. This is a Sistersville, West Virginia. This is like a 1940s one and that's a beautiful bottle. And that's an odd looking screw cap. That's an older bottle. That's 30s at the newest. It's got that real thick base. That's odd looking. All right, later. Yeah. There's a pre-prohibition, that's like a 1900 beer bottle. That might even be 1890s. Look at the base. Real heavy seam up the side. It would have been blown. That's a shame. There's gonna be some good stuff coming out of here. Another soda. But, you know, everybody at Dre, I don't know if these were dumped or these were thrown out the windows of cars. But right here, I'm coming down. I'm going this way right there is where I found the milks and the other one's kind of coming down this way. Only this far under the surface. Here's another one of these bottles. And this one's good. Here's a $40 one. Okay, that last one was chipped. Look at that. Beautiful Coca-Cola from Sistersville. That one is false. Man, that's nice. Wow. But, yeah, a little bit further down the hill. Oh, fakes. There's a $100 one. Find this one for sale. Last one. I saw the listing. It's been, I don't know. It was on there in like six months ago. One of these, 110 bucks. It had like 38 bids. That's a beauty. Man, that one's Stephen got embossing right here. Man, these are nice. That one's got a slate aqua tent. All right. Well, a little bit off where I found that Schumbach beer. Right below this, I'm just following this thin layer down through here. It's all over this hill. It's probably thicker up by the road, but that sure looks like an old beer right there. And it's break. Dead going it. It's probably another old one. It is. It's a real old beer. It doesn't look like it was embossed. There's all kinds of stuff coming out. There's a big White House vinegar. You can see the White House right on it. That's a 20 plus dollar jar if it's whole. And that's a feed product. But let's try to get this out live. This is a nice one. I found this one before, I'm pretty sure, but maybe one of it. it looks really nice. You know, in an antique store, this would be $25 and it would sell for that. These are quite collectible. This is awesome. It even says vinegar. And it's got to, look at that. White House vinegar. With the White House on it and that's perfect. You can see 
It's flawless condition. It's got a sweet green tint to it. Look at this. I'm getting down on this layer. Look at this stuff coming out of here. There's more greenium glass. That's a lid off something. It's got some chips on it. And there's something else here. There's stuff all, look. There's stuff all in the bank here. I was right. This is all you have to do. This Look at that pile of awesome. You know, these are all keepers. There's $200 worth of bottles there. And I haven't been here two hours. About two hours. Later. Well, there's a sarsaparilla bottle. That would have been awesome. Oh, look at that. And it's busted. And the reach busted that. There's some old stuff here. Huh. Later. Just reek this out, man. That's an odd top on that thing, but it ain't embossed. Man, that's old. That's a hundred year old bottle. That is very odd. I'm gonna take that. Just because it's so odd. I'll get back. Well, that's what that there's another piece of that. You can see the top on it. That's 30s at newest, 20s I would guess. Um, 1920s, but that's a hood sarsaparilla. That would have been a great bottle. It's a clear one. You know, that has some promise. It feels like a, a coke. It's probably a D-pad. It's right on top, but you can't beat this if it's a Sistersville one. It's $10 today if I wanted it. Oh, right! Well, that went from a 10 to... This is a... December 25th, 1923, and this is probably a Sistersville, West Virginia, and that's a $50 bottle. Try to find one for sale. One shit is. I've only found two of these on my channel, I think. Sistersville, West Virginia, Christmas 1923, cake. You know, that's the patent date. This could have been up into the 30s, but that's when the they call them Christmas cakes. Is that when the patent was applied for? And that's when it was issued, I think. You can read about it. But having 1923 on the bottom and Sistersville on the bottom, you know, that's worth the whole trip up here, right here, right there. Man, I'm glad that's not a D-pad. All right, I'll show you some of this stuff. You can see bottle patented December 25th, 1923. And, you know, if this was like Detroit, Michigan or something, it would probably be like a $10 bottle. But you see how nice the condition is. The color is beautiful. This is an extremely small town. Sistersville, West Virginia. They made some alley agates there for a while. There's a Coke plant there. But there's only one stoplight in the entire town. It's just a real little town in Tyler County, West Virginia. And that's a $50 bottle. The condition and i might be able to even get a little more than that look at that color um these are just not common they don't show up very often i've never seen one for sale in an antique store in marietta in three years and it sisters those right off of that they're just never offered and i very seldomly find them that's a good find look how nice later you can see this stuff ain't deep but this hill's like this and that looks pretty good doesn't it it's some kind of medicine bottle, I think. I don't feel any embossing on it. It's probably going to be a slick. It is. Man, that stinks. Man, that's a beautiful bottle. It's probably a hood sarsaparilla with a paper label. But that's still nice enough to take. Put new labels on that. Look at the color. Man, there's some nice stuff in here coming out. Yeah, this place is loaded. See that right there? And there's something right there. That's, there's two. I think these are both milk. See them circles on the base? Man, look at all the deep in them are. People's probably walked right. Let me dig these out live. I think these are both milk bottles. I'm only on 13%. I did another video earlier, metal detecting. Um, I'll get it on, but this, one's, this video is better. See if these are milks if I'm right. I think they might be. Nah, this is a jar. I got fooled. It didn't say nothing. I'd say the other one's the same thing. And it's something different, some food product. That's old. They're aqua. 
They just didn't say nothing. Man, that stinks. These are older jars. And I just found these two. Didn't show them. That's odd. And there's a piece out of a embossed bottle that says something Pierce MD. I'll get back. You know, this is a this is over a hundred years old too. Look at that old. That's probably like a pickle or something, but that's aqua. It says stuff on the bottom. It's all embossed up. It's a Heinz bottle. H.J. Heinz Company, 65 patented. And that's aqua. That's nice, kind of. It's bland. Later. There's a little cork top square medicine that looks pretty awesome if it's embossed. It's probably pretty Oh, it's embossed. I see embossing right there. What the heck is it? Folks, I'm on. I didn't think this was going to be this good. What the heck is this? This is a day maker. I mean, I found hundreds of dollars worth of bottles. I'm just going to cut it off on this one. This is perfect. Look at the color on this thing. It says Baltimore on this side. Look at that top. What's this say? Vermifuge. And I think that's a poison to kill vermin. I think this is awesome. Phrase. F-R-E-Y-S Baltimore Vermitude. The color's what? Holy crap. And that's balloon. And that's awesome. Look at the color on that. Holy smokes. Christmas cakes, White House vinegars, milks. This is sick. I've been here three hours now and I'm just going to leave. I was going to go dig on that house foundation, but holy smokes. There's so many nice bottles here. And the chances for Crocs and stuff to trade. I'll go up to the house foundation after I dig here a little longer. There's that vermin bottle is sick all right later well check out this smoker look at the color on that that's blown phrase vermifuge baltimore and that is for intestinal wor worms how cool is that look at the color holy crap folks it's a nice bottle i hope there's about 50 more there little ones like this are awesome wow later now yeah, right after that vermitude bottle here's like a little not embossed but that looks like something opium related or something that's a little that's blown too that's a cool little bottle man i have you know 50 other places i can come like this and i think some of the places have 1860s bottles i'll try to do this more on the older stuff there's old bottles all over this place but, you know here's another bottle that's a great seal and it's a weird screw top when you can see it there but that's a pretty nice looking bottle great seal the styrum begs company newark ohio you know it's like a two or three dollar one if i had that in an antique store it'd be two bucks later yeah see this right here that's an older bottle man they ain't look at these old trees here some kind of little screw top jar Looks like it's ink. See the black in it? I don't know. I'm gonna have to get out of here. It's getting late. Look at all these bottles. Holy smokes. All this stuff to take. Some of it I'll keep. Just all right here within walking distance of my house. Unbelievable. I'll be able to make a bunch of videos here. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Look at all this stuff. Man, nice milks. Later. <laughs>